Hello everyone, we're going to be making some flower domed earrings. To make these earrings, the supplies you'll need are two square open bezels. You'll need a half bead or round mold. some UV resin tape. I have white pearlized micro powder. You'll need some scissors, of course, and that would be for these rhinestones. Two earring posts with the backs. A little mat. This is a silicone mat, a bowl, a mixing tool, a very fine paintbrush. If you don't have a very fine paintbrush, you can use the point of the mixing tool for that. Um, also a pair of tweezers and your UV resin. You'll need two or one large uh, glass tile and some sticky tack. Since we're doing two earrings, I need two. If you have a large one, you just need two little pieces of sticky tack for that. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna start with the base part of the earrings first, and you'll need your tape for that. So I'm going to cut two pieces. Okay. And then this little piece here I just use so I don't lose the end of my tape next time I need to use it. And then you can just bend the piece over like that. So for easy handling, oh, this one didn't work out too well. That's okay. All right, so it's going to be sticky side up. And then you'll put your bezels onto that. Now I know this kind of looks weird, but I'm putting the bezel in a flat area, not where it's creased like that. So you can also turn them over and just make sure that they're secure, securely on there. Okay. And we can set these aside. You need your mixing bowl and your utensil. And you're going to need to pour some resin into the bowl. And I'm just going to use a lighter for this, just to get rid of the bubbles. I just let the flame glide over the top and it bursts the bubbles. Need my micro powder. And I'm just gonna take a little, just a little teeny scoop and put that in there. Mix it up thoroughly. And then I'm going to take this and put it in front of me. Like 
so. And then with the brush, I'm just going to just take a little bit. Now, if you don't have a brush, I did say you could use the end of the mixing tool, the point that would also work. And I'm just going to go around the edges just with a little bit. And this is so that when we do add the resin in there, it won't bleed underneath the bezel. It'll stay within the bezel. So I'm just going to do a little, little bit around. Don't do big globs, just do like a little bit and make sure you spread it just along the edge there. Okay, and then we will cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so now that's that's cured, we'll be adding a little bit of resin in there. Spread it to the edges. Now I only want a thin layer not too much. All right, and now we will cure this for 180 seconds. While that is curing, now we're going to use this half round mold. And you're, go you're going to want to have, um, have it a little bit smaller than the square because we want to add some rhinestones around it. So this one fits perfectly into that square. So I'm going down one and with this I'm going to add just a little bit of resin onto the bottom. There's a nice bubble there. We gotta get rid of those bubbles. So again with the lighter just just glide it over. Make sure all the bubbles are gone. And then we're going to cure this for 60 seconds. Now that this is done curing, since we only have the one mold of this size, we're just going to have to obviously make two. So we'll do the one first. And I did forget to mention you need some dried flowers. So don't forget that. Definitely need some dried flowers. And then we'll just put a little clear resin in it. Get out the bubbles. It looks like there's a little something in there. I don't know what. A little dust spot or something. I don't know what that is. All right. So we're going to take one of the flowers and turn it upside down and then put it into the resin. And when you do that, do it very carefully. And I do see a bubble there. So since it's 
since the flour is under the resin, the flame will not hurt it. And we just want to get that bubble out and pop it. There's a couple there, I see. All right. So now we're going to cure this for 180 seconds. Okay, so this is done curing, and I just need to add just another layer just to top it off and to level it out. Seems like a little got over on the side a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to cure this for 180 seconds and then we'll do the next one. All right, now that it's cured, we can remove it from the mold. Kind of looks like a, an eyeball. <laughs> and then you can see the flower and um, now I'm going to make a second one. And again, it's the same, same procedure. Just put a little bit in there. Make sure there's no bubbles. And then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. All right, that's cured. Take the second flower. Oops. Oh. Hold on. First, put a little more resin in there. We're going to need that. Make sure there's no bubbles. A little something fell in there. I don't know. That is a little piece of dust. Take a flower. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Keeps getting away from me. Okay, and then make sure it's upside down. And then just push it in. Add a little more resin on top. Remove bubbles. And then we're going to cure this for 180 seconds. While the flour is curing, we are going to remove these from the tape. Be careful when you're doing it. And then we'll discard the tape. All right, so when you remove the tape, sometimes some of the stickiness stays on there and you don't want that to stay on there because it discolors it. Especially this one because it has a lot so when you look at it you can see like little like greenish blue outlines so in order to get rid of that we will use some 100% acetone nail polish remover and some q-tips it will not harm the resin and it takes all that stickiness off all right, there you go. 
So next you're going to need your tile with the sticky tack. You're going to take one of these, place it on top of the sticky tack, make sure it's secure and level. Place a drop in the center. And then we're going to take the flower and stick it right on top. And then we have to make sure that it's centered. And then we'll cure it for 90 seconds. All right, now that it's cured, we'll just remove it from the sticky tack. And you can set that aside for a minute. Looks rather nice. And then next, we're going to need the rhinestones. So you want the rhinestones facing upwards. And these do pull apart, but you can push them together to make them look just a lot prettier. <laughs> So we'll just kind of manipulate them around so we know where to clip them. You can use your tweezers for this and you can just make sure you got them the way you want them. And then once you get them that way, you'll be able to see where to clip it. So it's right there. And you can just use a pair of scissors for that. And if you'd like, you can cut your second one into advance. Just, you know, pull it all out and then see where to clip it. And then you have those ready and then you set your rhinestones aside. And you can use just a little mat to put some resin on. Just a little dab of it. And you'll need your brush. You'll just have to go around the edge very carefully. Okay, and then you can get your rhinestones. Make sure they're facing up. You get your tweezers. Start placing them around. Make sure they're on there the way you'd like them and then cure them for 60 seconds okay they're done curing so what you'll want to do next is do a top layer 
over the flower of clear resin. And you can just paint that on. You can hold it. And then just go up to the rhinestones. Don't don't paint the resin over the rhinestones because if you do they will lose their luster. And then you can paint along the edges. And the edge, just these little corners, but you can also go along the side edge of the rhinestone just to make sure that they are secure in place. Now, if you're also scared of these moving around, um, they stay pretty secure on the silicone mat, but if you'd like, you could always use the tile with the sticky tack and then just put it on there to hold it like so and then you can coat the top with the clear resin and then that way you don't have to worry that you you know that it's going to move on you and you might mess it up or something but it works fine both ways. Like I said, do the edges. Make sure you get all the edges of the rhinestones. Don't, don't paint the resin on top of the rhinestones. All right. I'll just stick this one on top of here and we will cure this for 90 seconds. Okay, it's done curing. So what you're going to need now is both of your glass tiles. And then you're going to turn this over upside down. Also, you're going to have to first decide how you want your earring to hang. Do you want it to hang like a square? Do you want it to hang diamond shaped? It's it's all up to you what you would like. I believe I'm gonna do the diamond. So you just place those on. Make sure they're secure on the sticky tack and they're level. Next, you'll need two earring posts. So you'll have to remove the back of the post. Like so. And then you'll need to do a little dab. Just a little bit of resin. Where you're going to put the earring post. Okay, you might have to readjust them a little bit. And then we're going to cure these for 30 seconds. All right, now that they're cured, you're going to use some clear resin and then just paint it over the earring back, the base, just to make sure it's secured. And then you're going to also spread the UV resin to the edges.
and then we'll cure this for 90 seconds. Okay, now they're cured, so you can remove them from your sticky tack. And you just set the stuff aside. And get your backs for your earrings. Place them back on there so you don't lose them. And there you have your little flower dome earrings. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and press that bell for further notifications of my upcoming videos. Also, in the description box below, you will find links to my artwork, my photography, and my jewelry. Thank you again. See you soon. Bye-bye.